are back. Thank you for staying with us. We definitely do appreciate your company. Um, I hope you were part of the amazing conversation that Sakwa was having. And um, now we turn tables a bit. We're moving into the real estate. We want to have a conversation on inside the real estate business. So are you someone who's looking into investing in the real estate? Are you just trying to understand the real estate? Are you an investor? You know, are you a buyer or seller? then this conversation is definitely for you. And I've been joined by experts. Um, they are from JB Homes Company Limited. I have the managing director, Ann Mwita, and uh, the digital manager, who's Patrick Kumanthi. Karibu Thank you. Thank you so much. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. Uh -huh. tell, us tell us more about uh, what you do. Let me start with you, Ann. Thank you, first of all. Thank you for this time. Thank you, Y254, mm -hmm. for your time. I appreciate for everything. Sitting here, it is because of God. My name is Anmita, Managing Director, JB Homes. All right, great. Uh huh. Perfect. Yeah, thank you for this platform. Once again, we appreciate for this platform this morning. Uh, my name is Patrick Imadi, Digital uh, Manager, JB Homes Limited. Mm. And today, we are going to talk more about real estate business yeah true yeah that, that's definitely what we're going to talk about in Nianzi let me just start with the real estate business how is the real estate business for someone when you take a queen here either as a realtor you know as an investor you know equality how's the business let me let me ask you uh Anne. thank you thank you once again in real estate investing in it is the best thing nowadays you can do because you never get lost in that business. Uwezi pateza pesa yako, you start with the little that you have. Okay. Because we give you time to pay whatever you are buying. Mm. For example, if we are selling to you a property worth one million, we don't need you to pay the whole amount. You just pay a little of it, which is 10%, the balance you create in 12 months, which makes you to do other things apart from straining, paying the, the balance. Mm -hmm. So we give you an opportunity to invest. To, okay. Yeah. So you, it has an impo it's, it's a good place to invest in. Yeah. And I think for the longest time, the real estate is the only, um, is it stable investment that someone can make? Correct me if I'm yeah, wrong. Totally. Yeah, I, I understand is. that the land always appreciates, it never depreciates. Yeah. So Mm, okay, that, then that's true. All right. So why is it important, Patrick, yes. for someone, a young person, kuna mwenye na watch sai, yes. and I, and I'm just 25, so I still have a couple of years ahead. I'm just 20. Mwona ni ingia kwa real estate. Why do I need to invest in real estate? What would you tell this person? Yeah, real estate uh, is a, is a long-term business investment whereby your land will appreciate with the time and is fast growing. Mm -hmm in terms of appreciation. One, real estate appreciates every day. Uh, for example, when you invest for your, your little money, as little as 500,000, today uh, in the month of April, in the month of May, your, your land will appreciate by maybe 2%. Now, consider real estate investment and doing business outside. Real estate business, is a recreative, recreative business. Now, as a young person, engaging yourself in a recreative business as real estate, it will give you an opportunity to enjoy your, uh, 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 your, your income. One, your income is, 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 is tax-free mm -hmm. because your money has grown fast over, over, over time, right? Mm -hmm. There is no tax that will be, uh, uh, there is no tax, there is no, uh, a lot of uh, 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 expenses on your, on your investment. So, assuming that you have, you have bought a land in 2024 and you want to build a commercial plot in 2025. Mm -hmm. So, when you get back to your, to, to your investment, your land will, would have appreciated by at least that percent mm. considering the previous year. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are going to invest in commercial estate or commercial business, 
or in building commercial estates, your income will have been doubled. And considering you want to resell the, the, the property, mm -hmm. it will be much more of profit that you have meant in, in a single year. Mm. As a young person, is in, this is just an opportunity. It is just an opportunity on the way waiting for you. You don't need to have a lot of money to invest in, in real estate business. You just need as little as, just little, little, little amount of money because us as realtors, we have come up with a platform uh, whereby we give you a chance to invest and pay later. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how little is little? You know, what's the, just give from, you know, the plots you, you're selling and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. What's the fair, fair, fairest amount that um, someone can buy land? As little as 20,000. As little as 10,000. When you have 10,000 in your pocket, you, you, you are entitled to, have, to own a property in a real estate business. But when you speak of 10,000, you mean um, you pay, that's the deposit and then paying in installments? Yeah, 10,000, uh, you pay a deposit of 10,000 and we will break the, 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 the other money. Uh, for example, maybe in one year. Our financing terms goes up to five years, mm -hmm. depending on the size of the property and the, 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 the value of the property. Okay, but yeah. what's the quantitative amount that someone might end up paying if, you know, you know, the least uh, amount uh, a land goes for? Uh, right now? Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the cheapest plot mm -hmm. that you can own today mm -hmm. uh, goes from 350,000. Three shillings. Three hundred and fifty thousand. Yes. Uh, but as you explained, and I'll go to Anne, yes. um, is that you can own this over time, little by little. You you save up, not not okay. Little you pay the deposit, and then slowly you pay over months, and you or you get to own your land after a period of time. Yes. And over that period of time, the land would have even appreciated if you want to sell it, right? And that's the investment that we we're talking about. So now let me ask you, Anne. There's this um. There's this thing that people have, this fear of <coughs> investing in, in, in real estate because people get conned. You know, you think you've bought a land, but you've bought from someone who's not really the owner. So, you know, there's all that con, you know, con business going on. So how do you certify that this, this is actually a legit, a legit one? Okay. First, before we sell for you the plot, we also advise you. When you walk into our office or you give a call, first I ask you, what do you want to do with the plot? Or what is your budget? Before I advise you this plot is for commercial or for residential, you have to tell me what you are looking for. Mm -hmm. Another thing, before you buy, we take you to the ground. We don't need you, 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 you don't come just to the office to pay their money. For example, we are selling a plot of one million, you walk in and we ask you your money. No, we have steps before you purchase the land. Mm. We take you to the ground, then you do search. That is the second thing. The first thing, you cannot do search. People go wrong by doing search before they visit the land. By doing search, is that it's an online platform where you can search if the land um, is legit or it has an owner. Yeah, nowadays things are easier. Mm -hmm. You can choose to do it online in e citizen mm -hmm. or walk in to land offices. Okay. They will do it for you. Okay. So before you do search, First of all, walk to the place. See the place where you want to do search. People do search before they see what they are doing search for. Mm -hmm. That is why sometimes they, learn, they, they buy what they never thought to buy. So you walk into the office. You first see the office. Second, see the place you are purchasing land from. Third, do search. Fourth, ask the map. Survey a map from the office. Mm -hmm. Again, go back to the land. What do you mean by severe map from the office? You know, it will give you the whole picture of the area. Okay. Yeah, the severe map gives you the whole picture. Mm. If the land belongs to the area, if the land belongs to the person who gave you the map, it is indicated. Okay. It is like a green card. Mm. Yeah, for the land. All right. Yeah. Okay. So th that is the right procedure to follow when you want to buy a land. For, you know, go to the office, go see the land, you know, uh, search, go to the survey, surveyor map, 
yes. just to, to to ensure everything checks out yeah. and then now you can go ahead and purchase yeah. so that's uh at least that's the system that the as especially when you talk about e-citizen when you search that's the system that the government put in place to avoid the um, um the illegal business that was going on yeah. in this place. So would you say that um, that has cleared up completely or there are still people in the black market oh. <laughs> in, the, in the business doing such kind of business? Yeah, I can say people are different. We work differently. Hmm. But apart for us being in that company, we also advise other people. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. that is the way to go. Mm -hmm. The only way to go is to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Don't just purchase the land. Yeah. leo uanja kesho uonyeshwe mto. Una ni muhimu ujue kweli. Any muhimu ujue. Just follow the simple rules of buying a land. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now we know. So back to you um Patrick. Let yes. me ask. Um for someone who wants to to buy a land, mm. Um, what, what are some of the things that they should consider when they want to, to buy land? And uh, for different purposes, for people, someone would want to buy for, for settling, someone wants to buy as an investment and they sell, sell later, and another person for commercial purposes. So what are some of the factors to consider? One, you should know your taste. You should know what you want uh, when purchasing a land. You, cho you should, for example, if you choose a commercial or a residential plot, a residential plot, one, you look whether it is strate strategically located, you look at the amenities around, you will consider the, the, the road, the accessibility of the plot, you will co consider the security of the area, you will consider the future development. That's why, Anne, I've told you, mm -hmm you seek first the surveyor map so that you know uh, the, 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 the surveyor map will give you the report of the area. will tell you, for, for example, there is a proposed, uh, maybe a bypass will come, maybe it is, it is being proposed in 2027, mm -hmm. 2025, you know? Mm -hmm. you, you learn more about the area. Now, when you consider uh, uh, amenities like hospitals, uh, schools, churches, uh, accessibility to, 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 to social amenities like uh, hotels, you know. Those are the things I should consider as a buyer when choosing a residential plot. But when choosing a commercial plot, mm -hmm. you should uh, consider market value. Where you want to build your commercial plot? Mm -hmm. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it uh, rentals? Is it a, a commercial plot? plot whereby you want to rent shops is it is it a fast growing area uh, what are what, what are the things surrounding the area which will make your plot yeah, favorable to your customers you know those are the things that you should you should consider as a buyer then you choose your budget look at your pockets you don't just go assume i want to buy a plot in kilimani and your budget is very low. Now you have to choose your budget. You have to look at your, what is your test first? This is my test. Ah, if you know your test now, we will give you a green light after expressing uh, or after showing your test. Your test is commercial mm. uh, uh, plot. Your test is industrial real estate. Your test is residential plot. Now we will now take you through our projects and explain to you, each project has this. They don't have this. They have access to this. Now, according to your test, we will prefer you to this one. Now, as realtors, expert in this uh, 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 real estate uh, commercial uh, real estate uh, company, will make sure you are not lost in your investment, or you won't come later and regret uh, what I did. It was not my intentions. Hmm. Or oh, I, I lost my I, I lost I lost or oh, I lost my grip. You know? Yeah. Investing investing uh, uh, comes uh, come comes with a lot. When you're trying to invest hmm. in real estate, it, it involves a lot. So you might later regret if you are not advised well before. Mm -hmm. Now 
as realtors, as JB Homes Limited, we usually advise our customers. Mm. We shall uh, take you through step one by one. One, we shall explain to you, this is our project. This is the type of title it holds. We have different title and we'll, we'll, we'll explain to you. Mm. We have freehold, you know, whereby uh, uh, it is a plot you can use to do what? And you, you, can, you can bury your people there. There are a plot that you cannot bury your people there, you know. Yes, you have to explain to your mm. customers to understand. So that in the future, when they are trying to make some moves, they won't get disappointed, okay. you know. All right, so those are some of the factors yes. to consider before you get, you know, you buy a land. If yes. You consider is it residential, is it commercial, and then know the, you know, the amenities, the amenities in the area, are they accessibilities, for you? Uh -huh. future expansion. Okay. Yes. And some of the things there. So, and before before you answer to some of the different um, titles that are there, you know, things that you can do with the land, you know, we talked about the future you you um the need to look at the surveyor map to know what the future holds for that particular area yes. so we've had incidences in the recent past actually very recent where you buy a land you have a title of EDS, but the government comes in and says this land we were supposed to we are building you know this is our this is ours <laughs> and people people end up homeless and you know those are some of the fears that people have you know You've done all the due diligence, you've checked, everything checks out, but then the government comes and there's nothing you can do about it. So how, you know, what, what happens in such a situation and, or, you know, how do you avoid that? Okay. You know, there is doing deal, diligence and going shortcuts <coughs> and you have the title. Most of the people in Kenya, we like shortcuts. We mm. like shortcut. Let me tell you the truth. We like shortcut. Mm. Those people who telling you they have title and they are not their titles. Ukona title na si title yako. There is someone else ame kujana na sema niyake. That person went for shortcut. I can tell you they went for shortcut. Mm -hmm. Shortcut means uyu mtu akuenda kwa lands. Sawa. Mm -hmm. He only pays for that title to be out of which is possible. Unenza tolewa title. When I tell someone, before you purchase anything, do such. Don't mm -hmm. be a lazy person for your money. Only sweat for that money. So make sure whatever you are purchasing, you will be happy with it even after 20 years. Mm -hmm. Some people are lazy. Unataka tu ufanyue shortcut. Chamba, again, you want a project in Siokimau, for example. In, let yeah. me give an example in Siokimau. Mm -hmm. Siokimau, the market price the market price yeah. as per now is 3.5 million and above. Mm. You get someone selling to you 500. Mm -hmm. 500. Mm -hmm. The market price, even if you Google, 3.5 million and above. Mtu mm. anakuzia 500. And you are comfortable buying it. Unasema lose your cheap. That is going shortcut. Utakuwa na title of which the title won't be yours. Even if it is any mtu a produce from cyber. Uyu mtu wakuenda mahali. Number one, he was comfortable with the price. Before you purchase anything in land, even price can tell you. Okay. The price, the area, which is location, it will tell you everything. Mm -hmm. In Kiliman, if someone tells you anakuzia land, you're five million. You wapi? <laughs> wapi? <laughs> <laughs> that is what we call shortcut in yeah. real estate. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to buy something, it is your money. The man that you have worked for five years, ten years, mm. make sure whatever you are buying mm -hmm. is worth what you are buying. Okay. Hey. So the, the people that end up in such situations, what you're saying is that they probably didn't follow the right procedure. When Most of the people. Most of the people. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. As mm. I said earlier, just follow the procedure. They're only four. They're not many. Mm. Sometimes I repeat the number one. Go mm. back to the site after doing such. Mm. <laughs> go back. Yeah. Go, back. Yeah. go alone. Mm. Uh -huh. Let us not the company take you. Now go alone. After doing such, go alone. You will find the area, the people there, mm. the neighbors. Mm. At least you will get a hint. All right. Yeah. Okay. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not being. Hey, buying your land is not something that you wake up and purchase. True. You go slowly. Sometimes we give you that period of one year 
for you to be clear with whatever you are buying. Mm. Eh, okay. una pesa, but we allow you just to be sure. Eh, just <laughs> be sure. Go back, go ten times. Enda ujenge mabati. Make sure ni kwako. <laughs> before we can go rough. Eh, before yeah. we can go rough, make, make sure kuna kakitu kuna meka hapo. Yes. Imeka for six months, one year. Enyewe now you are sure. Kwa mm. Okay, alright. That's fair enough. Now, you know, what are some of the things that uh, Patrick was mentioning in terms of you need to know that this in this land you can bury, in this land you can do uh, one or two things? In towns, in towns, most of the town, like in Nairobi, in Mombasa, Kisumu, towns, we don't have freehold titles. Freehold? Titles. So freehold titles is uh, titles that you can... Bury. Bury? Uh -huh. Yeah. Only that. Number one thing, uh, freehold you can bury. Uh -huh. uh, Okay. In towns, we don't have that because with time, towns expand. Mm. When they expand, utambiwa hapa si kwako. Na mwe utasema ulinunua 20 years ago. That place was a freehold. Mm -hmm. Freehold, you pay for it yearly. You have to pay land rate for freehold. Okay. People are complaining. So Kwa nini tunalipa shamba? Na tulilipa shamba. <laughs> okay. So when you... <laughs> when, le, 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 yeah. Good, good thing you've mentioned it. So yes. when you have a land, let's say in... Uh, where, where in Siokimao, do we count that as freehold? Some part in... Uh, Siokimao, part of it is in, in Nairobi. Uh -huh. Part of it in Machakos. In Machakos. Yeah. In Nairobi, we pay for it. In Machakos, you don't. Yeah, we don't. So if, we're, if you want to buy land <laughs> in, in Siokimao, now you Yeah. Don't. But okay. <laughs> so if you part... Let's say in Kitenga, like Kitengele is in Nairobi... At least know, most part Kajado of it. Okay, this is Kajado. <laughs> this is also Kajado. So you don't yeah. pray for freeholds. Okay, mm. Nairobi, let me get Utawala. Utawala, yes. Right? So you buy land in Utawala, so mm. you pay uh, for land rates. Land rates, yes. Every mm. year. Eh, they how, have been paid for. How much? How, what percentage? They vary, depending with the land rates. They vary. Okay. Like now they are paying 4%. 4% of, of the of value of, of the land. Of the value of the land. Yes. Mm. Each year. Yes. Because you're in <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's the... Okay. That is why you can buy a land in 500,000 mm. today. Mm -hmm. In five years, utakume lipa like 10 million. Wow. Without wow. you knowing, he land ikukua freehold. Uh -huh. And some companies don't explain that utakuna lipia. Eh, okay. Unauziwa too without that information. Okay. Mm. That's good knowledge. <laughs> we yeah. have acquired today. Ndiyo mwana tuna bonga. Nuna land bag. I think that's the benefit mm. of it. In town are for commercials. Okay. Mm. So yes. mostly commercials. Yeah. And so um, there's the freehold title. What other titles are there? Leasehold. Mm -hmm. Leasehold are now for commercial. Where you pay land rates. Freehold you don't pay land rates. Freehold you don't? You don't. Pay land. Oh, so mm. freehold are those that... Uh, yeah, you pay once. When you the titles are out, uh -huh. you are done. Okay. Uh, so for commercial. leasehold, uh -huh. you pay them yearly. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Leaseholds are the ones that are in the cities. Uh, yeah. The ones that we were talking about. Mm. You pay yearly. So mm. there are only two ty type of titles. You have leasehold and uh, freehold. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Leasehold the, and freehold. The rest is a certain certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As you wait for that. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Patrick, you look like you wanted to say something. Mm. <laughs> uh, not real, not real. <laughs> uh, Just okay. to insist on people mm. should 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 acquire knowledge mm -hmm. when investing in real estate. Hapo mm -hmm. uh, mtu akona mbio ama mtu ambayo amesukumwa tu kununua shamba. Mm. Utakoniwa rahisi sana because uh, yeah. we have a lot of brokers. We have people who are trying to con others. And that's where you realize you have made a very big mistake by not acquiring a knowledge before. Mm -hmm. So, as a company, we usually advise our customers prior before. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Great. Um, what about, um, I know there's usually um, specifications on some area. If you buy, if it's a, I don't know if you do that kind of uh, selling. If it's, a, if it's an estate, like, um, let's say, JB Homes Estate, Estate 1. Yes. A, so the specification in that area where if you want to build a residential home, it can't get past a certain height. If, you know, if it's an apartment, it can't get past a certain height. Is this, is this true? Is this the case for you? And, you know, get, get us details uh, of how that works. Let me, any one of you can answer on that. <laughs> well... Uh, yeah. About about uh, building that is NCA. That mm -hmm. is NCA under construction. 
okay. National Construction Authority. Authority. Now we'll, we'll take you through those restrictions mm -hmm. and guidelines. But mm -hmm. us, we'll make sure your property is safe and secure. About construction, maybe NCA will always advise, but us will make sure you are strategically placed, okay, relaxed and at peace. Mm -hmm. That is now our work. But about construction, that is the work of NCA, that it will tell you now according to this area because NCA will come and uh, will one consider your, your, your plot. Mm -hmm. Mali iko strat iko placed. Eh? Mm -hmm. Kama kwenda chini. Yaani ina, ina, inaangalia mchanga okay. unaona na structure yenye unaweka mm -hmm. na hiyo area kama kuna such restriction that hiyo sasa ni part of your NCA. NCA okay mm -hmm. so that's not in mm -hmm. your that that it is not in our in our category. Category of mm -hmm. capacity. All mm -hmm. right. Um let me now ask for those that are sellers, you know. I don't know if you advise sellers also if someone has um uh, a property and they want to sell it then how do you advise them in terms of maybe pricing or how do they go about how do they go about it let me ask you Anne. okay first of all before we sell the plot you know you're asking about someone Selling. bringing in yeah. to mm -hmm. us yeah, yeah 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 okay first of all we must see the location mm -hmm. second the market rate of that location third accessibility of the area mm -hmm. because you can give us a house in in Sabaki mm -hmm. you know yeah, Sabaki is behind yeah. Siokima Katani yeah. Road uh -huh. and you are telling us you are selling at 10 million first of all we must see the accessibility mm -hmm. for that 10 million because even the person who is buying there is that person you are looking for that person so we advise you before you tell us to tell for you the house ni new modern ama ni ya kitambo we come there we tell you change this because you know how the market is okay yeah before we give you the market rate of the price mm -hmm. we must go there it is like buying a, a plot also you walk into the house unaangalia kama ni apartment kama ni model hizi chinjiwa lazima price i reduce eh, as the seller you have to accept <laughs> because now we are there to advise you yeah. unaweza kuna tafuta 10 million na utaitafuta for 10 years au utaipata so reduce the price mm -hmm. second if you are selling we advise you don't sell wacha tu mtu a rent wacha tu akae hapa akupe 10 million ah. as you change other things okay mm. so do you advise on renting more than better than selling yeah, we are also property consultant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, interesting. So why 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 that? Because that particular advice. Yeah, because some people wana kuanga maybe na rush. Rush ya kufanya kitu. Mhm. Mm eh maybe unataka kuhama Kilimani unaishi sio Kimao unataka kuhama sio Kimao na ishi Kilimani. So before you sell Mm -hmm. Real estate is a long term investment. Oh, so you you know. Know. <laughs> no, you for a long time. No, invest for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we have to advise you well. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, that's that's good advice. What are some of the current uh, market conditions that that are there? You can answer to that, Patrick, for people that want to you know to sell or to rent properties. What are some of the things that the market is looking for market is look uh, market uh, about the market value mm -hmm. um, we look at the area first is this area advancing is it fast growing is it slow growing what are what are the things surrounding the area mm -hmm. those are the things that will make your your property uh, 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 have a better value mm -hmm. no, no? Mm -hmm. and uh, for example, you can buy a plot in Ruai, Kamakis, Ruai. No, no? Yeah. Upate, ulinunua shamba 2013 Kamakis, na ime appreciate with only 500,000. Na kuna mtu wa shamba hapa umeambiwa along Mombasa Road, ina appreciate every month na 300,000. So, you look at the, 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 the area, you survey the area. Mm -hmm. What is making this, this property? appreciate what the market value market value mm. is measured by the by, by the growth of the area that mm -hmm. is it 
the okay. growth of the area that is what determines the market value of our property okay the mm. growing area so mm. that's the, the main thing mm. and uh, sometimes you know it's projected that some areas will grow fast and then they end up not growing as fast you know yes i think um when we compare I'm, I'm not sure you can correct me the my my own personal opinion uh, if we look at Kitengela mm -hmm. and Athi River, you know, mm -hmm. Athi River is one of those old towns, mm -hmm. but Kitengela has grown faster than, than Athi River. Is this the case? And, you know, how do you, how do you get to know this? Like, if I, you know, I want to invest in a property, I want to buy a property, and, uh, you know, one of those areas that are not developed yet, but are still, you know, I know they will come up at some point. So how do I go through that thought process to know that this probably has good potential than this? Um, let me ask you, Annie. Okay, I'll just continue with your example, Kitengela and that river. Mm -hmm. Kitengela has so many things. When purchasing Kitengela, it will take you to day to Kitengela, and they take you to a river, 100% you use just Kitengela. Mm -hmm. Number one, Kitengela has so many universities. Okay, okay. Number two, Kitengela has so many supermarkets. Mm -hmm. Kitengela has so many schools, primary schools, international schools. When you come back to Athi River, even the constructions itself will okay. tell you, mm -mm. <laughs> there's, there's some problem. So, when choosing, also Kitengela is growing. You know now Nairobi is moving. Mm -hmm. So Kitengela is moving towards Kajado town, mm -hmm. eh, Namanga Road. Okay. So Kitengela is connecting Nairobi and Namanga Road. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that is why most of the people you see are moving to Kitengela, constructing there, putting their businesses there, because it is growing mm -hmm. compared to Athi River. Okay. Yeah. So that's how, you, you know, but at some point Kitengela was not... It was just Kitengela, you know, they, there wasn't so much growing, mm -hmm. but I think it's the potential and people went in, all of the, a lot of people went in and that's how, how it grew, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, let me ask you, Patrick, mm -hmm. you know, for, for re realtors like you, how do you assess market trends? How do you keep up to date with things that are happening so that you best serve your clients, you know, when they come to you and you have information, you have the knowledge like you do. So how do you stay updated? We, we collaborate with other uh, companies. We collaborate also with the government agencies. We, we consult. Mm -hmm. we, every day we explore. We have to check. Uh, yesterday, if you logged uh, in into eCitizen uh, account yesterday, mm. if you log in today, there, are, there is some changes within 24 hours. So every day things are changing. So you have to, 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 to get updated with the system of the government also, and also to go hand in hand with surveyor report. Mm. Okay. You get. Mm -hmm. So that you can get a lot of information and the better information to advise your clients. Mm -hmm. So you have to get uh, in touch with the advancement mm -hmm. and the changes that are happening day to day with our government. Okay. Yes. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll come back to you later on to tell us about some of the advancements even in technology that are happening in the real estate because yes. I know there are some of some things that people might want to incorporate uh, you know in their property especially now you know because modern people are looking for some things specific things. But um, let me ask you Anne for real estate agents uh, that are out there because this is a career for 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 many and they're struggling you know before i know I, I know that it's a process before you get to be known become an expert mm. so what's the journey like what are some of the things that you'd advise them to to have and to you know some of the things that you'd advise them from your perspective okay number one we behave as kids if mm. you want to be in a real estate or an agent in real estate or a consultant you must be ready to learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Run from your top managers or people who are there before you. Don't enter there as if you know everything. True. You mm -hmm. don't. Learn, learn, learn how to learn. Mm -hmm. Real estate needs education. Ata sayi ni kikupea map, nisomei map. Maybe you won't tell me these is numbers. To be a problem. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you, are, you have to learn. Some of us are, are rushing. Mm. Real estate agents are rushing. Maybe someone saw you in one year, ulinunua gari kubwa, now wants to go there. Yeah. Uyu mtu wakununua hiyo gari in one day or one month. 
that person had to learn. You are, sometimes you have to go to classes to learn, mm. to even read a map, to okay. how to coordinate, to cal it has calculations. <laughs> 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 yeah. This 50 by 100, yeah. title, it is not written 50 by 100, uh -huh. it is 0 0.45. Mm. So if you don't know how it comes there, in a kupea hard time. Uh -huh. Unakimbia in six months, usha aja, going to another career. No, in real estate is the best place to be. Mm -hmm. Just be there, have time, be ready to learn. Learn, f learn from your people who are there before you, mm -hmm. who know what real estate means. Before even I sit here and advise you, ukona shamba ya 10 million, ama nyumba ulinunua ya 10 million, now me advising you, I also learned from someone. Mm. Nilifunzwa na mtu nikambiwa hii huyu mtu akikuja akikaa hivi know how to tell this person. Okay. Yeah. So learning is the first thing for real estate agent. And also be patient. Huko tunatusiwa, huko nje tunatusiwa. It is not easy. Huko <laughs> nje tunatusiwa si mchezo. Mtu anataka muuzie nyumba lakini anakutusi ndio uuze hiyo nyumba. But why would you? And I do. No no no, I'll sweat. So when you tell him you're paying me 7%, anakuuliza nani? Kweli ni umejenga hii nyumba? So for real estate will also go a lot. <laughs> taking a lot. So you yeah. take a patience. We are so a lot and also working hard because it is our career. We love yeah. what we are doing. Mimi utanitusi, nita kusmailia the next minute. Nikambia ni sawa pole. But you have pocketed your money. So we are here to learn. Yeah. Yeah. For real estate agents, mm -hmm. it is learning. It learning. is learning like any other career. Okay. Yeah. Core skill um, for someone who wants to get in. What are some of the must-have skills <laughs> good communication skill communication <laughs> because that's what you do you <laughs> must be smart you must be smart <laughs> you need to be smart in yeah. communication mm. Mm. so those are essential mm. negotiating mm. skills Pia. yes yes yeah, when you have exactly. when Confidence. you have a good communication skills then uh, negotiation negotiation skills comes be, uh, yani ina, ina almost automatic mm, mm. sister and brother yes yes all right <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, na math <laughs> oh mwalimu math hapa ndio anaingililia kidogo hapo ndo mwalimu math anaingililia kidogo wow oh, awesome amazing now let me go back to you Patrick on the question that i had asked you earlier yeah. what are some of the things you know the technological trends in the real estate markets mm -hmm. and or and advancement advancements that people that are in this space should know about yeah first real estate econa technology mm -hmm. involving it has involved a lot of technology mm -hmm. for example umesikia you have to do your own search so you kitaka kununua shamba ukuje tukupe tukupe copy of your of the title ya plot yenye unataka one you have to know how to do a search you have to know how to 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 mm -hmm. to do uh, and to check the area the report of the area through the map mm -hmm. in the surveyor report you know mm -hmm. technology involves a lot in real estate because everything now is going digital mm -hmm. everything is digital everything is technology so in uh, about title about uh, checking the map of the area about uh, even checking the market value uh, so that you don't get conned mm. you have to google you have to know you have to have, you have, to have skills on how to use your your gadget mm -hmm. to use the internet to know more about this area yeah. you have to google sahi ni vile umeambiwa kitengela nikikupea kitengela akesha ama kitengela lenjani you have to go to the internet Lu google what are what yeah, Google to why should I invest in Lenjani? Google mm -hmm. knows it all. Yeah. Google it will bring you all. Lenjani is connected by one, two, three, one, two, three. The market value of this place is this. So Ukikuja Nikuzia Shamba, you'll range. Whatever you learned from Google, whatever you learned from Google and whatever I'm telling you. So you'll you will you will be at least kuna kuna yo to deviation keep dogo to itakuwa umeelewa because hata kama kuna land, eh, market value inasema hii pesa naweza kuwa mimi niko juu na maybe 200,000 because of some reasons mm -hmm. you know because okay. of some expenses in card maybe while eh, making the, the the property look the way you want all right you know 
Okay. Yes. And for properties themselves, if you have a house, then I also believe that people nowadays want modern houses. Yes. You know, when you're building, I think that's something that the owner should consider, right? Mm. Okay. Now, mm. uh, 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 about apartments, about apartments and uh, mansions, mm. people are buying, people are renting furnished apartments, semi-furnished. Uh, people want... Uh, why, why do people want this furnished apartment? Because one, it's less costly, it, it, is, it is less time consuming, and you will own your property at your own... Uh, you, you love a time to choose what you want, and it is just convenient mm -hmm. and right there for you. Mm. And people will, one, choose the, 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 strate the strategically strategic uh, position of this property and the security reasons. Mm -hmm. One, technology ina involve baje kwa hiyo kitu, ina involve uh, mambo na surveillance systems. Mm -hmm. Surveillance systems. People want to buy houses where when you are out, when you are away from your home, you can check what is happening in your home while in Canada, while in the US, you can access, you can speak to them direct, even without making a phone call. Mm -hmm. So, in real estate, we involve technology a lot. Yeah. That's why I am here. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here to advise my customers, our customers, to, 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 to have the, their test at convenient okay. time and with the best people. And the, with the best people. Mm -hmm. I think nowadays we have uh, so many smart homes and those are what people Good. are going for. Mm -hmm. Yes, amazing. Um, as we come to a close on this conversation, let me ask you, Anne, um, in, what, in what ways do you prioritize uh, customer satisfaction and the communication throughout the whole buying and the selling process? Okay, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How do you ensure that you know, they, they are satisfied with, with whatever you're giving them and the communication is, is right? First of all, before a customer gives you even that same percent, that means you, the customer trusts you, the customer is comfortable with the company, mm -hmm. with the management, and before that, the, because it is a company, mm -hmm. we have some things to give that person to do such. Now, leave alone the land for the company, okay. for the company now. Mm -hmm. uh, now we are inside the company. I'm a fine search, I'm a confirm the search is clear, the land is clear, Everything is okay. Now he's here in the office. Mm. Anataka kujua, who is the owner of the office? Who is the director of the office? Is this company shared oh. or private? So we are, there are things that you give out. Mm -hmm. CR12, KR pin. Sometimes we give out the ID. Mm -hmm. It's only V2P we allow the client to do such for. Okay. Yeah. Just because with the agreement, when we are done, when you pay 10%, you come and sign the agreement. Mm -hmm. Before signing, kuna mtu ata sign hapo chini. You know, it, uh, JB won't sign. Mm -hmm. Someone will sign be on behalf of JB. JB. So that person, who is that person? You have to know who is that person okay. uh, behind JB Homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so we you allow you to search and certify that this person truly works for JB. They're yeah. certified. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Yeah. Great. I think that's... Uh, shows transparency and you know yeah, <laughs> accountability. because anybody can sign a document mm. yeah anybody can <laughs> sign so it's yeah. good it's good mm. to, to have that and you being a digital uh, marketing manager let me ask you how do you uh, market properties to attract uh, potential buyers or tenants and what platforms or meth uh, or methods do you find most effective from your experience yeah we use high-end technology in marketing uh, most likely we have platform like marketplace, by rent, Gigi, mm -hmm. uh, using MetaHards, which is Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. and also Property 254, okay. a worldwide website whereby anyone can log in and search for a property. Mm -hmm. And also Google search engine, marketing with Google. Mm -hmm. Because f right now, if I tell you go to your phone, search plot in Rwai plot in Kamakis, yeah. plot in Ruiru. Mm -hmm. Itakuletea all those properties connected with the website of the companies associated with the properties and zimeleta zime, zime kwa feed. Mm -hmm. So, 
for you to appear on the top we, you you have to be you have to do a lot you have to to, to be smart you have to have a, a guy who is uh, eh? <laughs> you have to, yes tech savvy <laughs> yeah? whereby your your website is on top yeah you make sure your website as a company ukisearch sa ijb hakuna ingine inafaa kuleta hapo inafaa ileta jb na all these platforms zinateremka hivyo that's how you will know this company has invested a lot in technology okay. i can tell you of a company you search for that company and you will scroll like 10 pages before you you you, you, you. get to that company yes yes so mm -hmm. you have to invest in technology for you to get to get to reach to your customers and you are for you the customer to reach to you directly and easier all right you know and you have to make sure whatever you are presenting online to the to the to, you, to the client mm -hmm. is 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 pleasing is enticing is 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 shouting it's legit mm -hmm. it looks legit no no it looks legit and it is something that can make a person buy impressions that's how you get impressions so okay. we, you have to be smart mm -hmm. so ab all about uh, real estate there is a lot in marketing and digital mm -hmm. so digital is what will make this company prosper because without sequiza kuna working you will never get a working client and there is no a client will know kuna office hapo for example our office is located in Kenya Railways headquarters mm -hmm. next yeah. to Uh, Mundavad's office. No, no. <laughs> Nobody will walk in. But these digital mm -hmm. platforms will yeah. bring your customers. So you okay. have to invest. You have to be sharp. You have to have a good tech guy. Mm -hmm. yeah? You have to invest in high technology. All right. Yes. Ah, uh, great. Amazing. That's mm. quite clear. Mm. Uh, one thing that we have not talked about is the legal assistance now in the property when you're purchasing property. Where do they come in? Let me ask you, Anne. That one we allow someone who is he, she, who is not mm -hmm. okay because sometimes some people do it for themselves some involve their lawyers we also as a company have a lawyer if mm -hmm. you don't have a lawyer we give you your lawyer but nowadays they usually say a lawyer we not take mume muhonga mume mwambia tukifika afanye hivi even such we don't do for our clients okay atakwambia huyu alipigiwa simu akaambiwa niambie hivi so we allow you to do anything uh -huh. you are just free Okay. You're just free with anything. You want to walk in with the whole government. He just just, come. <laughs> just <laughs> come in. <laughs> For your own peace of mind. <laughs> mm, <Yeah>. Sometimes <laughs> even giving you 10%, 10,000. Mm. That money is a lot to some people. For example, about the border guy. That person gets 50 bob a 100 bob. Imagine giving you 10,000. Ooh. I'm a work for how long <laughs> you pay your 10,000. So if that person tells you mimi nakuja na lawyer nakuja na nani come with everyone that uh -huh. you feel like. Okay. <laughs> As well as it gives you peace of mind. Yes. Yeah, then, because some people believe that. Then go for Without it. a lawyer mm -mm, yeye yeah, yeah, ujamalizana na yeye. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, amazing. Thank you for coming on board. Uh, maybe you can share your social platforms where people can people can get you. And if you have any last piece of advice that you want to give, let me start. Let me start with you, Patrick, and then finish with you, Anne. Yeah, uh, I want to thank my viewers for watching us this mm -hmm. morning. And just go to your Google, take your phone, Google JB Homes Limited. Just info. It will bring you our website with all our platform. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. We, we are using more than 30 platform to market our our properties. We are in all social media, including Facebook, Instagram. One name, JB Homes Limited. Mm -hmm. You will find us everywhere, shining and ready for you. All right. So my advice is, come to us, give us a call through 07031442004. I will, we will advise you accordingly on how to invest in real estate, and make sure before you invest, you acquire knowledge. That is key. Okay. Yes. Acquire knowledge before you invest. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And yes. to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you also for our customers. I also thank you once again Y254 for giving us this time and this opportunity. Welcome. To the people outside there. Don't ask advice to someone who has never bought a land. Your advice umepoteza. 
uwezi uliza mtu nataka kununua shamba and you are there asking 20 people and out of 20 ni mmoja amenunua shamba you will never buy if you want to buy something or if you want to do anything in this world consult yourself go digital or consult someone who has that thing that you want to buy kama nataka kununua gari sisi uliza mtu akwa na baisikeli definitely nafaa kuuliza mtu akwa na gari because that person has an idea of that that i want to buy yeah. number 2 squeeze shamba si lazima ukuwe na the whole amount of it ukiona tuna market na 1 million 10 million 350 is not a must you bring the whole amount tumekupea a time a period of one year you just bring as little as the 10% of the total amount the balance unalipa na 12 years tunakualau pia ile kidogo tunakupea time ufanye pia na vitu zako as you invest real estate is the best place to invest ukiinvest you will never regret hiyo ni kitu na appreciate daily daily mm -hmm. in appreciate ukinunua shamba saa hii 2024 na 350 hata imalizangi mwaka in 3 months ukuju niambie an i want to sell my land we check the value of the area tutakupea price maybe itakuwa imefika 1 million so if you are investing in real estate never regret be free to invest be free okay, okay. Thank you very much, Anne Thank you too. and Patrick, uh, for sharing such uh, great insights into the real estate business. I'm sure now people are knowledgeable about this, True. and uh, hopefully they've been stirred up to get to invest in this uh, lucrative um, yes. sector, yeah. you know. And uh, this has been uh, the last interview of the day, the last conversation of the day. We've been talking about investing, or, or rather inside the real estate business. My name is Stefania Yata. We do wish you a lovely day ahead. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. See you tomorrow, same time, same place.